Getting into a car accident is stressful and waiting for a settlement can make it even more frustrating. If you want to speed up the process and get back to your normal life sooner, here are some important steps to follow. Hopefully the police came to the scene and made a report. If they didn't, you should make a report of the crash immediately. Without a crash report, the insurance company may become suspicious and delay your claim. Call both your insurance company and the other driver's insurance company right away to report the accident. They won't begin processing your claim until it's officially set up. So the sooner you report it, the faster they can start gathering information, assessing damages, and working towards a settlement. Delays in reporting will slow down the entire process. If you're injured, notify your health insurance company, including Medicare or Medicaid if you have those, right away. They may require repayment from any settlement that you receive. It's important to know exactly how much you owe your health insurance or Medicaid or Medicare to avoid surprises you can then position yourself for a faster payout. If your car was towed from the accident scene, move it from the tow yard as soon as possible. Tow yards charge daily fees and these costs can add up quickly. If you have collision coverage on your auto insurance policy, you can ask your insurance company to remove the car from the tow yard. If you don't have collision coverage, you can ask the other driver's insurance company to remove the car but they'll only do that if their driver is at fault. By moving your car to a repair shop or your home, you can save on tow yard fees. This also allows insurance adjusters to inspect your car sooner, which can speed up repair or settlement offers. Right after the accident, use your phone or camera to take pictures of all the damage. This includes your car, the other vehicles involved, and any property damage. Provide these photos to the other driver's insurance company and your own. Clear photos help adjusters assess the damage accurately and can speed up your claim, especially if there's a lot of damage. You want the insurance company to quickly see this as a bad accident if it really was. You can make a claim for a rental car from your insurance if you have rental car coverage or you can ask the at-fault driver's insurance to set up a rental car for you. Here's a pro tip. If you canceled your auto insurance after the crash, ask the other driver's insurance company to pay for the insurance on your rental car. The other driver's insurance company may pay for insurance on the rental car if you didn't have collision and comprehensive coverage on your car insurance. Most people in car accidents and even many lawyers don't make this next claim but you should strongly consider it as it may get you paid big. In fact, I was recently able to quickly get one client almost $10,000 for this claim. It gets better. I didn't charge an attorney's fee on the almost $10,000 that I got my client. So what's this claim? Well, you may already know that if the other driver's at fault, their insurance company owes you for a rental car until they pay for your car, but they only owe you up to their insurance property damage insurance limit. But what happens if you don't rent a car? Maybe you have another vehicle to drive and you choose not to rent a car. If you are without a rental car after the accident, make a loss of use claim with the other driver's insurance company. This claim seeks compensation for the inconvenience of not having your car or rental car. Explain to the insurance company that you were without a car due to the accident. They may compensate you for each day you couldn't use your vehicle. This helps make up for the disruption to your daily life. Go online to a car rental company website in your zip code or close by. Make a reservation for the same or similar make and model of the car that you were driving at the time of the crash. You're not actually going to get the rental car. You're going to use this reservation to show the at-fault driver's insurance company how much not having your car is worth per day. Now, expect the at-fault driver's claims rep to push back on your loss of use claim. I've had them tell me that they don't pay for that. However, I've successfully made this claim before. In your first letter to the at-fault driver's insurance company, include the law that allows you to make a loss of use claim. If you had car insurance, the at-fault driver's insurance company will want to reach out to your car insurance company. They'll confirm that you weren't paid for a rental car from day one. If you were, the at-fault car insurance company isn't required to pay you for loss of use. Most people whose cars are damaged in a crash don't make this next claim and it can put pressure on the at-fault driver's insurance company to settle faster. Even after repairs, your car might be worth less than it was before the accident. This is especially true if it's a newer model. This loss in value is called diminished value. You can make a diminished value claim with the other driver's insurance company. 
provide evidence of your car's value before and after the accident, you'll need to hire an expert appraiser. Getting compensated for diminished value helps you recover the true financial loss, but you can make this claim against your own insurance company, at least not in Florida. Ask the other driver's insurance company to provide their policy limits and any coverage defenses in writing. Knowing the policy limits helps you understand how much compensation is available. And once your case is worth their policy limits, you are ready to settle, even if it's before you finished getting medical treatment. Here's the single greatest thing you can do to put pressure on the at fault driver's insurance company to pay fast. It's giving them proof that your case is worth more than their insurance policy limits. If the other driver's insurer mentions any reasons they might deny coverage, tell your own insurance company right away. This allows your car insurance to prepare and possibly step into help. If you went to the emergency room or urgent care, Quickly do the following. Send copies of your discharge papers to the other driver's insurance company and possibly your own auto insurance company. This helps because medical discharge reports confirm that you were injured and received treatment. Don't ever expect the insurance company to rely on what you tell them. You've probably heard the saying, get everything in writing. Well, the motto if you wanna have the best chance at a fast settlement is, Give them documentation. Sharing this information may speed up the processing of your medical claims and lead to quicker compensation for your injuries. Consider getting repair estimates from both your insurance company and the other driver's insurance company. Sometimes one may offer a better settlement than the other. It's often faster to begin with your own car insurance company because you already have a relationship with them. They are obligated to help you if you have collision coverage on your car insurance policy. The other driver's insurer may take longer because they need to determine who's at fault. They also need to contact their policyholder and the driver if they're different people. Just because the crash report shows the name of the other driver's insurance, it doesn't mean that that insurance was active at the time of the crash. I've had many car accident cases where the other driver's insurance expired before the crash and the police officer didn't even notice or care. And we didn't know it until after we reported the claim to the at-fault driver's insurance. This next step may speed up your car accident settlement because it allows the at-fault insurance company to increase its reserve. The reserve is the amount that they're required to set aside to pay your claim. It's the best estimate of how much they'll owe based on all the information they have. The amount could be anywhere from $0 to a big number. It's not only medical records and bills that may get an insurance company to pay you more money. Let's say that you were in a coma and had a breathing tube and someone took a video or photo of that. Send it to the other driver's insurance adjuster fast. Even without medical records, that injury can have a full value of $100,000 or more in pain and suffering. You then, of course, need to calculate your fault, if any. If you're also at fault, it can quickly reduce your claim's value. Now, the odds are that you weren't in a coma or had a breathing tube, thank God. But maybe you broke your leg in a car accident like my client, Ryan. And maybe you had to use a wheelchair for some time. Send a photo of you in a wheelchair to the other side's insurance company. Through a hard-fought battle, we settled Ryan's case for $300,000. The photo of Ryan being pushed in a wheelchair was tremendously effective in getting that compensation faster. Visual evidence of your injuries can make your situation more real to the insurance adjusters. It can help them understand the severity of your injuries, which may lead to a faster and bigger settlement. Even if you only have a photo of you in a gurney at the hospital, send that to the at-fault driver's insurance company. The same is true if you have a photo of you wearing a cast for a broken bone. Make sure the hospital and doctors have your car insurance details, not the other driver's insurance. This is true in most car accident cases. If medical providers bill the other driver's insurance directly, it can cause long-lasting delays and confusion. They then need to wait to get a denial before billing your auto and health insurance. Also, give your auto and health insurance information to the hospital and doctors. This way, your car and health insurance can process your medical bills fast. They may seek reimbursement from the responsible party later. If items like glasses, clothing, a laptop, or a phone were damaged in the accident, make a detailed list. Send invoices, receipts, photos, or any other proof of purchase to the other driver's insurance company. They may compensate you for these losses, helping you replace your damaged belongings fast. 
Contact the local emergency services to get a copy of the 911 call related to your accident. This recording can provide important details about the accident. The 911 call might include eyewitness accounts, descriptions of the accident, and other amazingly useful information. Sharing this with the insurance companies can support your claim and help move things along faster. But be sure to listen to the 911 call before sending it to the at-fault driver's insurance company. Make sure that it helps your case more than it hurts it. Speeding up your car accident settlement is great, but it won't give you the best chance at a large payout. To maximize your odds of that, you need to learn an easy claim trick. I reveal what it is and how to use it in the video that's on screen now, linked in the description below, so watch it now. And if you've been injured in a car accident in Florida, or if you live in Florida, click the link in the description below to see if I could be the lawyer for you.